Okay. Does that sound all right, everyone? Right, Beryl? And you said you had one more? No. Nope. Okay. No. That's it. Okay. Uh, can we have a motion that the minutes be approved? And, okay. So is this the right distance from the mic? Mm -hmm. Okay. I can hear you. Okay. Good. Sorry. Should I start? Yes, please. Go ahead. So my name is Andrea Siegel, and I would like to speak to the issue of library staff having a voice and being treated respectfully in the work. I've lived in Albany for 30 years. My husband, David Siegel, and I are both retired librarians. Uh, we've used the Albany Library for a very long time and always found it to be the model of a well-run, well-loved community library. So what has changed? A new branch head came in and suddenly everybody is freaked out. She either doesn't know how to work well with the staff or doesn't care to. Because the staff had no voice in the workplace, they went to the newspaper to air their issues. And even though Supervisor Keith Carson, who listened to all sides and acknowledged the weeding process was unfortunate, thus validating the staff perspective, the branch head, Deb Sika, has engaged in retaliation and bullying and has even issued a gag order on the staff. Really, a gag order in a public library. There's just nothing that makes less sense to me. Um, this constitutes an abuse of power and has created a hostile work environment. And really, to use the excuse that the library has been poorly run and people weren't doing their job for the last 30 years does not ring true for people in this community. So I would like to make two suggestions for the Albany Library Board. Please show some respect for the courageous, hardworking Albany Library workers that are here tonight by allowing all staff speakers tonight longer than three minutes if they need it. And at future board meetings, please agendize 15 minutes of time for worker perspective before and after each agenda item. And for the Board of Supervisors, and I'm glad Kevin is here, hopefully you can take some of this back, please use any and all county resources at your disposal to bring in a mediator to repair the severely damaged, strained working relationships. A top-down, non-collaborative management style in a public library has no place and especially not in our public library. Thanks, and um, I, I really want to say I have a few more minutes. I won't take any more, more time. It's on my statement, but this is nothing that gives any of us any pleasure. This is just very sad, and I hope we can all come together and really get these people working and doing their best. They're wonderful people, and I, I really hope you can The, the, this is a public meeting. We want to hear your public input, but it isn't a show of applause or booing or hissing, you know, positive or negative commentary on speakers. We're listening to the speakers. Audience reaction is, is not appropriate. It, you know, it, it's in the process, in the document. It, it wasn't specifically singled out, but we expect Behavior. Well, we'll do our best. Passions are running high on this yeah. issue. And, uh, but I take your point. Yeah, thank you. Um, it is in the document. You're correct. Hi, I'm, uh, are we ready? Yeah. Hi, I'm yes, Steve Wasserman. I'm a clerk at the Albany Library. Um, I won't take three minutes. Probably won't even take two. Um, I want to um, thank Andrea for her comments, and some of my comments dovetail with hers. Um, I'd like to ask the board for some guidance on, um, on how we put a, 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 an issue on the agenda. Um, uh, there's um, there's some, an issue that I think is very, very important that needs to be discussed ASAP, maybe at the next meeting, and that's the issue of um, the very sorry state, in my opinion, of management employee relations. Um, what I propose to do in that regard, or ask the board to do, or any interested governmental officer body, is to conduct a series of individual, private, and confidential interviews with staff members uh, to really get a, 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 a truthful and accurate sense, and a, and a safe sense from um, us workers on the, on the on the shop floor, what's really going on. Um, there are some stories that we'll, you need to hear. 
Uh, we've recently had one employee resign. I don't have the permission to divulge her name, but she's here tonight, uh, who felt mistreated and, and so much so that she eventually felt she, had, she was being hounded into resignation and, and, and did so. Uh, there are other such stories. Um, And uh, that's what I want to say. Um, the, the, um, to, to, to echo Andrea, there are very serious issues of autocracy, and that, that has some bearing on the weeding, which I'll explain later. And um, it's a, it's a, we need some, some mediation, healing, closure, work, repair of uh, our work, our work site. Thank you. Thank you, Steve. Um, supporter of other books. Can I see a show of hands how many people here are concerned about the weeding? Okay, thanks. Obviously, you're not going to hear from each of these people individually tonight. Um, to go to the regular public comment section, I'm really concerned about the, the flow of oversight between our library generally and top management. I appreciate Carmen being here tonight. One of our members contacted that office and was told that she feels that a relevant library is what we need to have and that the current condition, which is now missing 20,000 books over a year, I guess, is appropriate. If that's not the case, I know you'll be commenting. But it took five months to get to you on the phone today to try to find out if this is your policy or someone else's. So my concern is that we have a clear avenue of communication in the interest of transparency between your office at the top, whoever it is under you that supervises weeding and collections, and our particular Albany-wide community. Thank you very much. Thank you. discussion then, um, and I've attended other meetings.